it's time to spill the tea, but preferably not on me, because this is like boiling. Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my adulting 101 for college students video. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below. Please check it out because it is a very much loved. So much so that I decided to do this one today. Yay! So before we get into this, this is way too hot to drink, so we'll just leave it with Taeyang. Tay Tay. Cheers, honey. Number one, intentional friendships. You will find that your Gucci gang is now probably spread out all over the city or in certain cases all over the world. And so making friends and maintaining friendships as an adult becomes a bit more difficult, a lot more difficult due to increasing responsibilities and decreasing free time you are going to realize sooner than later that you need to be intentional about friendships. You need to schedule them, put in some work, and go out of your way to solidify or maintain that bond with the people that you love. Number two, I'll just let the title speak for itself. I know we spend a lot more time with our colleagues at work than we do with our family, but I encourage you to please keep your work friends in their own unique category, meaning merging them with your party slash drinking buddies is gonna end up blowing up in your face eventually. Now, I'm not saying not to have an office BFF, but please keep in mind that if your friendship or in some cases relationship ends, either you're both gonna have to be professional about it or one of y'all has to change jobs. Number three, socializing does make a difference. As an adult, you will become very greedy with your free time because you have so little of it. And so that office Christmas party or the corporate annual bowling event might look like a waste of time. However, I still encourage you to attend these events because it will benefit you other people and let's face it the organization in general because that's why they're doing this by getting to know and bonding with people that you work with every single day this will help you be more productive at work it will help you be less shy about asking for help at work and it will also guarantee that you will receive help when you need it so everybody wins number four you never walk alone as an adult, I realized that I feel lonely a lot more often than when I was in school. Again, this is because everyone is so busy and it can be a bit hard to just get out of your comfort zone and reach out and call someone. But I highly encourage you to, you know, go old school and pick up that thing called the phone and do that thing that people do as in calling, not texting, call your mom. Call an old friend, call a new friend, call, I don't know, sham wow. Just talk to someone when you're feeling lonely. Be active about it and reach out. You will soon find out that a lot of people are struggling with the exact same thing that you are. Number five, time for yourself. On the other end of the spectrum, it's important to remember and keep in mind that even as an adult, even if you're in a relationship, married, with children, divorced, I don't care, you are still you. You are still a unique individual with preferences, with things you like that other people might not like, and that is perfectly okay, and you should not stop doing or listening to stuff, to music, or watching movies just because other people in your immediate environment don't like it or don't agree with it. For example, I'm a ramen freak. I love ramen. Every time someone says, what do you want to eat? I guarantee you, two billion percent of the time it's going to be, I want ramen. People got sick of my suggestion and so now, when I have a craving for ramen, I just go alone. You know, I'm not going to stop liking what I like 
because other people don't like it. If your significant other is not into rom-coms, go see the movie by yourself. It's perfectly okay to still love things for you, okay? There's no need for a consensus. You can still do stuff alone. That is perfectly okay. <laughs> Number six, relationships are expensive. Going to the movies, going drinking, going to a restaurant, going clubbing, ew. That's just me. Are all gonna make a pretty big hole in your wallet. And so I encourage you to try and think of cheaper alternatives to bond and chill with your BFFs, okay? I would recommend having like themed parties at your friend's house where everyone brings a little bit of something, everyone contributes, or just game nights or a picnic outside just to play sports or whatnot. These are really fun and expensive way to still keep relationships in your social life alive without just <laughs> soccer punching your wallet in the face. Number seven, and this is a big one. Desperation does not look good on anyone. I know approaching your 30s, you might be a little bit panicky if you don't have the dream job you want or more specifically the dream person that you want. And giving in to that feeling of FOMO or of rushing because I need to get married before I'm 30, I need to have kids before I'm 32, it, it, it doesn't look cute, okay? Show up, be yourself, be kind, be honest and genuine and then that will attract the right opportunities and the right people towards you. Then you have to act on those opportunities, but that's another video entirely. Bottom line, the great things in life are unplanned, they are unexpected, and they tend to come and knock us off our feet. Number eight, your parents are freaking awesome. If you take anything out of this video, Please let it be this point. I find that we gain a different admiration for our parents when we become an adult ourselves. Please talk to your parents. Please spend time with them because they have done great things and they still have a lot to teach you. And more importantly, now you have stuff to teach them. Number nine, the company won't die without you. If you're not the director, CEO, or the actual owner of an organization, do not bring your work home with you. And also don't answer work calls on the weekend. I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the time, it's about something that could have waited until Monday. I don't know if my boss is watching this, he probably is. I find that with cell phones now, we're always expected to be on and answer 24 seven. You're not a robot. Set boundaries and respect them yourself. Cause if you don't respect them yourself, no one else will. And finally, number 10, healthy time apart. I know a lot of people at this age, uh, since they moved out from their parent house and now they're with a significant other, they become a little bit glued at the hip out. I'm here to tell you that a little bit of time apart, meaning I go sleep at my parents' house for two nights just to hang with them, or my fiance goes camping for three nights with his buddies, that is actually advantageous and can strengthen your relationship with someone because not only do you miss each other a lot after, but you also appreciate each other's company more and you actually have new and interesting stuff to talk about. And like I said in a previous point, you know, you're still individuals and you need to do things that you love individually as well as things that you love as a couple. You need a balance. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to me if you like what you see because I post videos at least once a week. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see over the summer, please leave them in the comments down below. I am very, very open to suggestions. Thank you guys. Um, hey, yo, can you give me back my tea? Please. I'm drinking hot boiling tea while it's like 24 degrees here.
What have we done to that ozone layer? Oh my god.